Hi, welcome to our channel. I'm Shiva, and today we have with us XGMI's 4K projector. It is called the Horizon Pro, with a decent brightness right up to 2200 amphibians. It has a two built-in speaker by Harman Kardon, and by the size of it, you would think it doesn't sound that good, but it's really impressive. So the projector runs on Android TV 10, and I've been using this for past couple of weeks. And I've been really blown away with the performance, and it's one of the best 4K projectors I ever used. It comes with a remote control, same as a typical remote for Android TV. It has a microphone. The button here is for Google Assistant, and here we have a button dedicated to focusing the projector. The outside material here is made out of metal. It's a premium top end finish to it. No complaints at all. Anywhere from 30 inch to 300 inches, it is what it can project. This. Right here is a little camera, and there's a sensor in there too. That is for the autofocus. There are two HDMI and a USB port each, and an Ethernet port on the back of the projector. Flawlessly blending into the design. The top of the projector, this here is plastic, and we have a power button and then media controls over here. Horizon Pro has two Harman Kardon sound system, which gives a very different effect while watching any movie or video. It also has the option to plug an external speaker. The bottom is made out of plastic. We have four solid rubber feet and a tripod mount. It's enough for an Android 10 projector right here that everything loads up quick, as fast as my TV would load this up. I see new no problems over here, and so just getting into the Amazon Prime that works here in full HD. As you can see, everything is running very smoothly in Prime videos. We'll go into just few things with settings now. Very standard set standard settings that you'll find on most projectors under brightness. Right now, I've set this to standard. You can even increase the brightness to maximum, which helps in performance while gaming to reduce the delay you're going to be seeing in that. Next in projector settings is Keystone Correction. It's automatic or manually focus adjustment settings. So on startup, you can get it to auto focus itself. And after that, you'll find focus setting, and then the projector placement. And in projector setting, you'll find where you want to project your screen: front, front ceiling, rear, and rear ceiling. The other settings you'll find here is HDMI control settings, and then focus calibration and keystone calibration. And this can be done over here if you need to do so. Now I haven't had to touch this, but imagine you're having few issues or whatever. You could run this to get it to recalibrate itself. So here we go with our image quality now. I must say it looks spectacular, and this is from a YouTube channel called 8K Video Ultra HD. So the image quality is super sharp. So now let's check what it looks like if I was to turn on the light or open the blinds now with plenty of ambient light at the moment here. It is still perfectly watchable to me. Thanks to 2200 ANSI lumens, it looks great. I would not be worried at all. So the only con I feel is the price point for the Indian market. But leaving that apart, the performance of the device is at a very different level itself. You'll have a very unique experience while watching movies, TV shows, or consuming any other content. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for new videos.